This is part 41 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating image gallery with thumbnails. We'll be taking advantage of event bubbling concept to achieve this. Here is what we want to achieve. We want to display the images using thumbnails. And then once we click on a specific thumbnail, we want to retrieve its image and then display that within the main image as you can see here. So let's see how to achieve this. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be using the images that can be found on a Windows machine at this path, C colon users, public, pictures, sample pictures. Now let's take the first five pictures from this folder. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have an empty ASP.NET Web application project. To this project, let's add a new folder. Let's change the name of the folder to images and paste the images that we have just copied into this folder. And within this HTML page, within the head section, let's include a section for styles. So style type equals text slash CSS. Now here we are going to include a style for the image element. So basically this style is going to be for the thumbnail image elements. So if you look at the thumbnails, the height of the thumbnail is going to be 100 pixels, width is going to be 100 pixels, and the border around the thumbnail to be 3 pixel solid gray color. So, height 100 pixels, width 100 pixels, and border 3 pixel solid gray. And within the body section, the first thing that we need is uh, an image element. So let's include an image element here. And the height of the image element is going to be 540 pixels. Width is going to be 540 pixels. And the border of this main image element is also going to be 3 pixel solid gray, just like the thumbnail element. And let's set the source attribute of this image element to the first image within the images folder. So source equals for slash images for slash the first image name. And let's give this image an ID. Let's call this main image and let's include an HTML break and then we need five image elements to display these five thumbnails so image and the style class of this image element is going to be this image style class which we have written and let's set the source of this first image thumbnail to the first image within the images folder. Similarly, we need four more uh, image elements to display the thumbnails. And to speed things up, I have already written that code. So let's copy and paste it here. So we have four more thumbnails. All right, so with all these changes, let's run the page. Notice that we have thumbnails and the main image element. So now look at this. When we click on thumbnails, nothing happens. Okay. So let's write a function to change the image in the main image element when a thumbnail is clicked. So let's include a section for script within the body section. Script type equals text slash JavaScript. And here I'm going to write a function Let's call the function change image and to this function we're going to pass event object. Now, in this example, we are going to take advantage of event bubbling concept. Now, if you look at these thumbnails, in our example, we just have five thumbnails, but in real world, you may have 10, 100, who knows. Now, this function, okay, we're going to associate this function as the event handler you know, for click event to another element which is going to be the parent of all these image elements. So I'm going to include a div element here, give it an ID. Let's call it my div. And all these thumbnail image elements will be wrapped 
inside that div element. So what is the advantage I'm going to get out of it? Now, instead of associating this event handler method as an event handler for the click event for all individual image elements, I can associate that with this div element. Okay, when the click event on uh, any of the image occurs, it's going to bubble up to its parent and this div element is going to handle that click event for the image. Okay, so what advantage is that going to give? That's going to, you know, make the life of assigning event handler much easier. Instead of assigning this as the event handler for five different image elements, you can just associate as a, the handler for this one div element. Okay, so on click, I'm going to call this function change image and then the event object gets passed to the event handler method. Okay, so the event is handled at the div element level, not at the specific image element level. Okay, so here we are using the concept of event bubbling. So now here we're going to say event is equal to event or window dot event. Now why do we need this or condition here? That's for compatibility with IE8 and earlier versions. In IE8 and earlier versions, if you need to get window object, we use window.event property. Okay, and I'm going to create a variable here. I'm going to call this target element equals event dot target or event dot src element. Okay, so what is this going to do? Now notice the click event is handled at the div element level. Now this target property is going to return us a reference to the HTML element on which the actual click event occurred. Here the click event is going to happen on the individual thumbnail image elements. Okay, to get hold of that image element on which that click event actually occurred, we're using the target property. So this target element is going to contain the image element on which the click event occurred. So if target element is equal to image. Now if this is confusing, don't worry, we'll understand that in just a bit. Actually, let's comment that line for the time being. So what I'm going to do now is, so this target element is going to be our thumbnail. So we want to retrieve the source attribute value of the thumbnail and then set that as the source for this main image element. So first I'm going to use here document dot get element by ID and the ID of the main image element is main image. And then I'm going to set the source attribute of this one to target element dot get attribute of source. So very straightforward code. We're taking the target element source attributes value, setting it as the source for the main image element. And then we are calling this function on click of that div element. Okay, we are associating it as the click event handler. Now let's run this. Let's save all the changes. Now reload the page and let's click on this. Notice that the image is changed as expected. Now let's click in between these image elements and see what's going to happen. Look at that. I'm clicking in between the image elements and look at what happens to main image. Nothing gets displayed. That's basically because when you click in between the image elements, you know, the source attribute of the main image is going to become null because, you know, obviously when you click in between, it doesn't have a source element. Okay. I mean, source, a value for source attribute. As a result, the main image element source attribute becomes null. So to account for that situation, we're going to have this check. So if the target element is an image element, only then retrieve the source attribute value of that target element and then set that as a source for the main image element. So let's save these changes, reload the page, and now look at this. When we click in between, nothing happens. But when you click on the image, it should change. Let's see why it's not changing. So 
So let's save these changes. Reload the page. Click on the image. For some reason, look at this. The image is not changing after we have included this check right here. So document dot get element by ID, setting the source. So if target element dot tag name, that check we have to use. So that's going to return us the tag name of the target element. So if the tag name is image, only then do this. That's the reason why it's not working. So now when we click on the individual thumbnail, look at that, it works as expected. Okay, another thing that we want to do is when we hover the mouse over this thumbnail, we want to change the cursor style to a hand symbol and then we want the border to be changed to red color. So let's see how to achieve that. So within the script section, I'm going to create a variable. Let's call this images equals document dot get element by ID. So get this div element, my div. And then within that div element, get me all elements by tag name. So which basically have this tag name image. So now this variable contains all these image elements. So I'm going to use a for loop here for where i is equal to zero, i less than images dot length i plus plus images of i dot on mouse over. So we are associating, um, you know, an event handler for on mouse over event of all these image elements. So on mouse over, we want to execute a function, which is basically going to change the style. So this dot style dot cursor equals we want the cursor style to be hand, and we want the border color. to be red. So this should happen on mouse over. Similarly on mouse out, so on mouse out we want the cursor style to be pointer and border color to be gray. So with these changes, let's reload the page. And notice that when I hover the mouse over, the cursor changes to hand and border changes to red. Thank you for listening and have a great day.